Hi, my name is Bryant Holsenbeck and I'm an environmental artist living in Durham, North Carolina. Since this quarantine began, I have been using my living room as my studio, just because I can look outside and see the world go by. So I normally make art out of stuff that people throw away. As a matter of fact, I always do. One of my real secrets is that besides making animals out of cloth and all sorts of things, I love to make books. I love paper. So my books usually have paper, recycled paper all the way through them. But what I discovered since I've been home is all of my cookbooks falling apart. And these are beloved cookbooks. They have memories um, from many, many, many good meals. And as much as I know that I can still sort of get recipes online, I love these cookbooks. And so I'm going to show you how to put them back together using some glue and any sort of paper you have around. I cut some paper from paper bags, I've got some maps, I've got some maybe catalog stuff, just whatever you like. Here's, here's another paper bag that's pretty good. So um, I'll show you how to do this. Hi, Bryant here again. I want to show you the tools I'm gonna to be using and also uh, my workspace, which you can see is both organized and messy which is just what I'm like, both organized and messy. So first thing you're gonna need is a, some scissors that are not your cloth scissors. Paper scissors get dull, they were cut for a long time, but just be careful there. So you're gonna need some brushes or something. You could even use, I don't know, the point of a credit card or something, but um, this is a really crummy paintbrush because um, I might, may try to use that the most because once you get Elmer's glue on something, mm -mm. so next, next is gonna be Elmer's glue, and I have mine in a little thing like this, and then I have watered that down a little bit to make it easier to put on, and then I've got some really thick parts of it because sometimes I need thicker rather than thin. Um, you're gonna need all different kinds of paper ruler if you want it, but I'm just doing this by hand. Um, you're going to need something to press with. I often just use my finger, but you can use a credit card to get air bubbles out of paper. Um, here is a couple of examples of bone folders, um, which are fancy paper tools. If you have one, that's nice, but no worries. When I'm with kids, I use those big, fat yellow pencils. Um, and then I like this little kind of book all because I can get in a little corner and stick some glue in there. You'll wash it off later, but we're using Elmer's glue, which is washable. Hmm. Whoops, nice jumping. Now, that just jumps all over the place. This toothpick might be helpful as well. I try to keep my tools there, but they jump all around as I work. Um, I want to show you a little bit about this. Now, um, I told you that I work with um, found objects all the time, and I usually make three-dimensional animals out of fabric and plastic bags and stuff we throw away. And I do also make large-scale installations, which you can see on my website. But um, I want to show you my journals, because I just told you how much I love paper. And here is one of my art figuring out animals journals, and it's made. The, the cover is an old um, book. And then you'll see on the inside, I've got, here's how I'm figuring out, you know, how big is a goldfinch, thinking about a chicken. And I have all these dividing pages, which are just, um, you know, they've got different kinds of paper in it because I love paper. That's the best one right here, but you just, I'm working it out right here. Um, this is another smaller journal that I carry around that's made out of a carton that beer came in, and again, this is paper that I've collected and found, and um, I just used, this is an old book right there. So I just love 
paper. And so that's how I got the idea for mending the books around me because I want them to be in good shape. And now we have the time to mend. We're mending our world and we're mending what's in our world. Here is the Moosewood Cookbook. The binding is made from seed packs that I fitted to the outside, put glue on, and wrapped around it. So now I'm going to take this book and I'm going to put it underneath weights and let it sit for a while. Now I have another Moosewood cookbook. This one doesn't, is sort of together. I just have to come back there with glue and re-glue the binding a little bit. Whenever it doesn't stick right, I'm gonna use a little bit of the watered down glue to make it go a little more smoothly. I can tell I'm getting glue inside the book too. So, and also to reinforce this, I'm gonna lay a piece in here. This is gonna be out of my grocery store bag. Um, and I've already lost my tools. I do that so well. I lose my tools here. So, oh, actually, this isn't the Moosewood cookbook. This is the, what is this? This is the New Basics, an old silver palette cookbook. So, measure that out. I'm not even thinking of aesthetics here. What I'm thinking of is holding this book together right there where it's wanting to go open. Now, I think that's going to be fine. So what I'm going to do now, lift it off of this wax paper. It still wants to come apart there, so we're going to we're going to make it stay back together. And then I'm gonna turn this over. I, I, I folded it, so this is what I call it. You see, there's the valley. There's the mountain of the fold. I'm gonna put glue, I'm gonna press it down and put glue over the mountain of the fold. And I'm using, again, I'm using this wax paper so that I can get right to the edge of what I'm going to glue. I'm going to put that in there. See what I got here? I'm going to put that in there. It's sticking out a little bit. I can go back later. And now, good old thumbs. They're great. Now I'm going to fold this over. Oh, it wants to stick to my thumb. And put the book on top of it. All right, come on, book. There. There. I just check. Yeah, there's a mm, there's a little hole right there. I put glue there, so I'm gonna. It doesn't really want to go back there, so that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to see if I could get glue there. So somewhere, there we go. Here's a little book all that I can wash, but I'm gonna stick some more glue in there just to make hope for it. Now, this thing, because I closed that book, I just wanna make sure that it doesn't stick back together where I glued it back very carefully. There, whoops, it's, yeah, just see it's trying to, trying to stick to itself. I thought that might happen. It gets sneaky like that. So let's stick in some wax paper there. Now this book, look at all that, it's sort of really coming apart here. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, oops, I'm a sloppy worker, can you tell? I'm gonna fold this 
right here so the glue's not showing. But I think I'm gonna drop in something right here to kind of reinforce that corner. I could actually, it could come all the way from here to here. I think that's a good thing. How long is this Bacosi picture? Well, if I did it this way, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the part of the Picosa catalog because I think it's beautiful. It's gonna look abstract when I finish, that's okay. But I love that part right there. So, I cut it so I know it would cover the length. All right. Ooh, I like that brick on the inside too. Hmm. All right. Just figuring out how it's gonna fit. And do you think I wanna cover up the name of the book? I do not. I do not. So let's go like this now and see what this can do. Let's see how this fits in now. Hmm. This is good. And here's another secret. I cut it that way, but mm, it'll be upside down and backwards. If I do that, am I gonna do it? I just flipped it. Mm. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna make it totally abstract. I like that color there. So now I got something that'll fit on there and I just have to glue it up. And I, I have to mess with this here too, but I'll catch it later with something else. You saw how the in, on the inside of my books, I just like to put all different things together. So I'm just gluing. Now, I do, I'm quick. I don't really think very hard on things. I just have a gut feeling and then I do it. Um, I know, well, I do this all the time. I mean, I, that's what I do. I make stuff and I make, make quick decisions and sometimes I don't like them later, but you know, most, and then you can, for this stuff, you can always glue something over. So it's just not the end of the world. I'd rather just keep being quick. Now that's going to fold right there, folding back. Again, I'm going to use this and this. And then just going to stick that in there. See what I got? Yeah, it looks pretty, oh. Well, it's making that much stronger. So now I can tell you, I'm gonna put some of this in there so it won't stick. Now I still got this issue here, it's kind of plastic coated something. And I saw, oh, this is gonna dry clear. So first thing I can do is stick that in there. Instead of cutting it off, I'm gonna try to make it go down, and then I saw this a um, little bit of this. This is, I thought it was origami paper, but it's got something else in it too. So, all right, I'm gonna make it purposeful. Mm -mm, that's not, we're gonna, mm. And the angle there, I just, I just do. So now that's going to fold under, too. All right. So you get to remember that you can always, always glue over these things later. thing I'm going to tell you is so I've got a bunch of glue there. I'm going to stick stuff in here. So now that's a stronger everything. Um, let's see. I may come back and put something around here, but right now I'm just going to put it down where I was pressing this book, my first book, book, which is I'm going to put some cardboard down first and then a weight. 
I'm not sure whether you can see that, but it's right over there, sitting on some, the book is right underneath, it's right underneath there. It's right underneath this right here. Can you see it? All right. Here's my Moosewood cookbook that I wrapped the outside. And I dropped in a couple of these things that I showed you in the other book. It's looking really good. Looking very good. I'm not going to mess with it till tomorrow, but it does look good. Now, another thing I wanted to show you was I had a favorite book. Oh, here it is. If you're a potter, you may know the work of M.C. Richards, Centering in Pottery, Poetry, and the Person. It's a lovely, lovely book. And, of course, I've lost the cover of it. I think the cover had a picture of her throwing on a wheel. So I thought, well, you know what? I can just glue a new cover on it. And my choice would be to have something that wrapped all the way around, but I don't want to do that because I want to see that name still. So I found a piece, well, I didn't find it. I made a piece a cover out of a piece of folder. So what I did was, and I'll do it again so you can see it. I'm going to sort of cut it. Actually, let's measure it. Um, somewhere I got a pencil. Well, I lost my pencil. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go get it. I'll be right back. Good. Found a big fat one. Um, this is one of those pencils that, um, kids use when they're first learning to read and write. And, um, thing about it, is that you could also use that as a bone folder kind of presser thing. And I often do that um, when I'm working with kids. I like those pencils because they will get distracted by using a credit card to crease something with. And bone folders are expensive and can get lost in the glue so easily. So now, I'm just because I feel like it. This is the flap that I'm going to glue here. Like this, like this. And so now I'll have a cover and you know what? Let's try this. I just found this beautiful card made by a student of mine named Nancy Sorak, and she sent it to me. And I think I'm gonna glue that there so that I've got the beginning of the design for the outside of this book in a new way. So, let's see. And like I said, you can keep gluing stuff because, guess what? You know, um, it's glue and it's glue and you can, it's collage and you can just keep adding. That's really fun. So now, Dear Bryant, fun. She is very cool. When I've been places to teach since she took a class with me, she's been there taking another class. Last time I was at Aramont, and she left me this whole, whole huge, huge, huge zip bag of fabric. Anyway, it's nice to see. I, I always say beautiful cards because... They're going to be great when you use them in books. Ooh, this is wanting to really, there's a lot of gummers on this one, and it really wants to grab quickly. But I can still move it around. Okay, let's press that in. Not a perfect, I would have liked, oh, there you go. Now, and you see how that doesn't want to stay there? And I keep, I keep throwing my brush down in the wrong place, but. Now you know about me. That's why collage is really good because you can cover up if you get stuff stuck. Now, this is going to go on the top. So I'm going to glue this, which is going to glue right there, and going to give me a, a new cover. Does that make sense? I hope so. 
Now this really has to stick well, so I'm gonna use the goopiest of my glue, the non-watered down stuff. Again, I'm gonna press it down. When you glue, you're pounding the glue into the paper. Doing that. Here's my top. Match it up as best I can. Mm-hmm. Got a glue fingerprint on there because I like that. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. A little bit of that other cover is there. I wish I had a little more. I'd bring it around. Look at that. That's not sticking. So because I don't have clean fingers and it was probably not a great thing anyway. Anyway, so here I found this paper last night, wrapping paper, it's got numbers on it, and for some reason I thought this would look good on MC's book, and what I'm going to do with it, because I just dropped this on top and it's a cover, I know I have to make it, really reinforce it, so I'm going to wrap this around, still don't like the look of that yet, but I'm going to do it, you just wait. Wrap this around and glue it on. All right. First step, of course, is going to be to put the glue on. This is with thinner paper, so I'm not. Oh, it's another, another note from somebody. I think this was on there. So I'll just wrap it around. Maybe I'll put it right there. Okay, I think, let's, let's turn it over and go like this a little bit. Oh, that's nice. And I didn't even think about it, but I didn't, um, I didn't cover up any of the writing on the back very much. But now that I look at it this way, it really does want to come apart there. So now I'm going to find that little, anything. I had like a toothpick that I lost in the mess, but... I believe in having more than one tool here. Stuck that in that way to press it again. And I can see here where it's wanting to buckle. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'm going to press it down before it uh-oh. Buckles too much. If I'd been if I'd been smarter, I would have grabbed that sooner, but I can't I can't undo it. So I'm just going to because I happen to know that glue has done its thing now. All right. Now there's a fingerprint, and also this, it just needs to be held on a little better. So what I'm going to do is take more of this paper, and how do I want to do it? I don't know why I thought I'd like numbers on um, M.C. Richards' book. Just for the heck of it, I'll tell you that one time I was at an art center near where MC lived, and we were using recycled materials, and I was there with my head in a trash can, and um, MC, who I really admired her but did not know her, she came along and saw me with my head in a trash can, and unlike most people in the world, she had to go find out what I was doing, so she came and stuck her head in the trash can too. So I've always appreciated her curiosity and love of life. I think I'm going to do it just like that. And I'm going to, because the title is there, I'm going to choose to put this band above that title. So that's my next thing right here. Um, again, I'm pressing the glue in. Leaving that away. Decided I wanted this orange point. Oh, that's right, right. I told you about the title, so I gotta not cover the title. So it looks like it is gonna come in through this circle. Not my exact original plan, but okay. And it's not wrapping around as much as I thought it would, but that's okay. That's okay. I think it's gonna be fine. 
So I've got the beginning of the whole thing. Again, there's a couple of, hmm, I'm putting this in there. I see a smudge I don't like, so I'm going to come back. It's probably from my finger, but it could be from the original used folder. So that's the thing about collage. You can cover up you know, things. And there's another smudge right there I don't like, and I don't know. Maybe I'll put a little map over there. No, I don't like it. I like this better. What do you think? Oh, forget it. I'm using some more Picosin. Here's that, um, man, it's like a sailboat. Nice. Nice. I love that image there. And I think I've got it upside down, but, you know, wow, I like it. Cross sky, all that stuff. So i got to come over here and do this. Upside down. Right there. Flip it over. Oops, it jumped on me, darn. Go back in there. Oops, wrong way. Sometimes art has a life of its own. That's what I, I think. All right, not bad. Oh, see that wrinkling up? Before you press these things, you can, um, this is a really good time to catch any bumps. I see I might want to trim that, but I'm not going to do that right now. But now, this book of centering is held together. I see how that's sticking up, but no, not anymore. So I am going to take this and put it in the stack over there with all the things I'm pressing. Actually, I think I'll bring the stack forward right now. I'll show you. That we've got our New Basics cookbook that I repaired the cover on that I'm drawing right here. Now I'm gonna put this one on top of, man, I really like this one. So I have a potter friend who I wanna give this to. So now I've got a really nice new gift for her from an old book. So whenever I press something, I want to, because I glued it, I'm going to put something on top of it right here. And so now that presses like that. And so I should come back tonight, not in two minutes, not in half an hour. Okay, the very last thing I'm going to show you is, this is an old book that I've had for many years, um, The Critical Path by Buckminster Fuller. It's in pretty good shape. Oh, it has one thing that I've got to glue in right there, and you know how I'm going to do that. But what I want to show you is that it's got the nice cover on it, but look, I, it's really, really worn. So what I think I'm going to do is line the cover. And Buckminster Fuller had a very large view of the world. As a child, he needed glasses and no one knew. And so he just saw large shapes until he got glasses. And then he began to see the leaves on the trees. And he began to understand that there were very small things that made up the large shapes. And so he looks at the world. He did look, he's, he's, he's dead now, but he looks through eyes that see the large shapes and then the small systems that make it up. So I thought this would be a good you of the world to put there. So that's what I'm going to do here. And this time I'm going to use newspaper, a stack of newspaper of my local free mag, uh, free, it's called the independent here in Durham. And um, 
because that's what I normally use. I was using all that um, wax paper because I found it from a kid's project. You will not have that much, I don't think. So now we're going to do the old gluing thing. And this is a time. Oh, I'm going to. Which side do I want to do? That's the United States. But I think um, I'm going to look up and see Canada on this. So again, I'm going to glue. Pounding in the glue. And I'm just going to do this piecework. Now, somebody that thought a different way for me could find a piece of paper or a couple and fit them together that would be the same size as the cover, but I'm not going to do that just because I'm not. But uh, so now that's all gluey. So let's get rid of that, right? I can recycle it later. So now I'm going to put mostly Canada. Some of the United States in here. Nice. So now up here, we'll use, it's got Alaska, more British Columbia, that kind of stuff. And I'll put that up there. Those are the worst parts of it. And let's see. book is an important book to me. It has a letter to Michael in it about doing the things that you see that are important to do that he wrote to a 10-year-old child, which has been a mantra to me. And I think to other people. Other people in the crafts community in the world have discovered that letter too, and it's meant a lot to them, not just me. Maybe we'll put it up on the website. All right, not too bad. It doesn't want to stick, so I'm going to use my little, that little thing of really goopy glue there. Yeah, there's a hole right there, so I'm going to have to put, no, actually it's the mat, so that's going to be okay. That is going to be okay. But, let's go here now. Glue, turn it over again. Mm -hmm. See what else I got here. All right, first thing I got to do here find a cleaner credit card and then really press that down. And then I've got a little bit more of a jaggedy edge here I want to glue. And here's some more map right up here from another project, another map thing. Mm -hmm. I can go all the way out. Some people might want to really think it through, and you could really be, um, I don't want to say this, um, conscious about your shapes that you put in here. They could mean something. I want to just, I like the idea of mapping, and so that's what I'm going to do, and um, later on I'll be surprised with what I put in there. It's not, these are, um, the maps are of places on this continent, so... Be curious about that later. Let's get rid of that glue. That might be I'm not picking it up for me. There you go. Just gonna get rid of it that way. Now put it here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just realized that that glue, let's see. Come on. I'm just gonna fold it over. Not worry about it. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. mm. The first map was double sided. This one isn't, but that's going to be okay. Remember, I can keep working on these. If I uh, decide to keep this book, which I think I will, 
it's mine. Um, if I start thinking that I'm going to give it to a certain person, I might put something on it that um, is about them. That does not want to stay down. See that really? Oh, the glue! I've got the glue to come out there. Now this is my work surface. It's okay. A lot of times my work surface is a cutting mat. It's really easy to clean, but I'm not in my paper studio right now. All right, there you go. Not bad. Now, this would be really good to have some wax paper on because it is sticky. So this is what we save our wax paper for, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Right here, I think it's not sticky. All right, and what I'm going to do with this one now, if you got a couple of you know, six packs, something like that, you could just put that on top of it. I don't have that right now, so I'm going to stick it underneath this board I have. It's going to be fine so that later on, when I pull it out and wrap it around my book, it will be whole again. So, I've made a mess with all my tools. I made scraps to put on other other books. I'm getting rid of the sticky parts. I'm going to go wash them. And um, I just wish you the best. Clearly, I have a stack of all a lot of other books to take care of, which I will. The most complicated one is the Good Housekeeping book by, um, this is my mother's book. I don't use it, but I think I'm going to make it for one of her grandchildren. All right, signing off. Have a beautiful day. Brian.